in your hymnal. Please stand.
bodies, our soul, our spirits, and our entire life into your hands. We ask you that you place this service into your perfect will, will, and plan for our lives. Father, we fully surrender ourselves to you and will allow you to lead and direct our life in the direction that you will want to go in. Wanted to go in, in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.
give another a hand for our Christ over everything ministry this morning. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Well, this is our announcement time. And I don't think we have any visitors. I think everybody's at home this morning. Amen. And we do have some birthdays this week. Okay. We did miss Brother Josiah last week. I actually called our candy. So I want to give you your proper brother, Josiah. Happy birthday on the 24th. That was the day before yesterday. And then Sister Hall's birthday is on the 30th. Amen. And then we have Sister Tatiana. Her birthday is on the 31st. Amen. So let's get up and sing happy birthday to these guys. And uh, let's sing happy birthday that the Lord continues to bless them. One more.
appreciate you and all of the things that you do. Please accept these handmade cards and these flowers as a token of our appreciation. God bless you.
those of you that don't study the work out. Daniel chapter 3, verses 1 through 12. And instead of singing Amazing Grace, I think I need a fast-paced song this morning. Amen. Amen. So join us in whatever hymnal song we may have. I'll change it up on the dinner. The sheriffs and all the rulers of the providence were gathered together unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Mm -hmm. And they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Mm -hmm. Then a herald cried out, uh, out aloud, mm -hmm. To you it is commanded of uh, people, nations, and languages mm -hmm. that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, Sabbath, psalm tree, deucer, and all kinds of music. Ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Mm -hmm. And whoso falleth not down and worship shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a burning, fiery furnace. Mm -hmm. Therefore, at that time, when all the people heard the song of the clarinet, the flute, harp, Sandbuck, psalm tree, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshiped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spat and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, the harp, the sabbath, psalm tree, and ducimer, and all kinds of music, <coughs> shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worship that, worship that he should be cast into the midst of a burning furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the providence of Babylon. Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. These men, O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, mm -hmm. nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Mm -hmm. You may be seated. Yes. <laughs> the grass withers and the flower fades away, but the word of God will last forever. Mm -hmm. amen. Amen. Say amen to somebody. Amen. Amen. I would like to speak up on the topic <clears throat> Be careful to who and what you listen to. That's right. Be careful to who and what you listen to. Mm -hmm. Amen? Right. Now, in life, from the time we're able to understand until we die, mm -hmm. we will have people in government, our schools, on our jobs, family, and friends who will try to influence us 
and how we should live our life, mm -hmm. our decision making, and what we should believe. Amen. But be careful to who and what you listen right. to. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because you do not want people, and I don't care if they're your family, friends, politicians, school teachers or professors or friends, in the classroom or on the playground, influence you in doing things contrary to God's will for your life. Mm -hmm. Are y'all hearing me? Amen. Amen. So I particularly want the young to know this. Don't cave into peer pressure. Just let God do the leading in your life. Yes. Depend on Jesus for everything, and he will get you through what you're going through. Yes, Amen. Peer pressure is a book of error in high school. We know that. Yes. This is a book of error in school, period. Want it to be accepted. <coughs> but don't fall for the okie mm -hmm. In other words, don't believe in the lies. Don't fall for the scams, mm -hmm. con games, untruths, or fraud. Or fraud. Mm -hmm. yeah. If God did not say it, mm -hmm. then don't believe it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen, somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to learn <coughs> to depend on God for everything and lean on man for nothing. All right. <coughs> Y'all not hearing me. Mm -hmm. Now, as we look to this passage, the first thing that comes to mind is what Shamrach, Meshach, and the Benigo did was they, they stood for Christ and did not fall for the okie doke. Right. They did not allow what was going on around them or the influence in the world to cause them to be disobedient to God. Mm -hmm. Whether you want to admit it or not, all of us have been influenced by the things in this world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody, tell the truth to shame the devil. Mm -hmm. Before we came to Christ, the world taught, <coughs> taught us <coughs> that it was okay to have what our neighbors had. Mm -hmm. In other words, keeping up with the Joneses. It was okay to chase after the American dream. It was okay to lie on people and discredit people to make us look good. The world taught us a lot of things that are contrary to God, but the world is not the only influence on us. Say amen if you hear me. Music is also an influence. Whether it be jazz, blues, rock and roll, rhythm and blues, country and western, hip-hop, classical, or gospel music, all of us have been influenced by some type of musical style. Mm -hmm. Right. It has been said that God gave the gift of music so we can hear the melodies of the heart. Mm -hmm. But music in itself can be used to uplift souls, elevate the mind, calm our fears, relax the mind, promote peace and love. All right. But music used the wrong way, right. it can corrupt minds, Entice you to sin, right. entice you to be violent, to dress inappropriately, right. to disrespect one another, and influence you to do something foolish that can cause you to end up in jail or dead. All right. Amen. Amen. And that is the basis for this message. In these just read scriptures, we see three young men, not three young boys, but three young men, mm -hmm. three young Hebrew men. All right. Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego refusal to bow down to a golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar had built up for himself. Amen. And in Daniel chapter 3, verses 1 through 8, we see that as the music was being played, everyone who heard the music being played had to bow down and worship this golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar had built. All right. And everyone bowed down to worship this golden image except for Shamrach, Meshach and the Bendigo. All right. But notice here in Daniel 3, chapter verse 8, where it says, after the music had been played, mm -hmm. it says that certain Chaldeans came forward and accused the Jews, and that's plural, mm -hmm. but not bound down to worship the image. Right. But yet in Daniel chapter 3, verse 12, the accusing Chaldeans only mentioned Shamrach, Meshach, and the Bendigo. All right. They're not now. bound down. Amen. So now the question is being asked, since the Jews, since they accused the Jews were not bound down to the golden image, how come only Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego was pointed out for not bound down to the golden image that King Nebuchadnezzar had built? All right now. Well, it's right here in the text. Yeah. There are certain Jews whom you have set over the affairs of the providence of Babylon. Right. Shamrach. 
Meshach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. Now notice there are other Jews that did not bow down mm -hmm. and worship the golden image. Right. Mm -hmm. But these accusing Chaldeans only pointed out Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego mm -hmm. for not worshiping the golden image mm -hmm. because they had been appointed to be over the affairs of, of, of the providence Amen. of Babylon. Right. In other words, it was because they had been promoted to positions of leadership right. in the Babylonian government. Mm -hmm. And because they had been promoted to positions of leadership in the Babylon, Babylonian government, mm -hmm. that could have somewhat ruffled the feathers of some of the Chaldeans right. mm -hmm, who felt that they should be in charge and be in positions of leadership. Right. Now, no doubt, some of the Chaldeans were jealous of their promotions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Be careful of the smiling faces. Right. Yeah. Smiling faces will lie. Right. They don't tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, somebody. Yeah. They ain't got no old school folks in there. Smiling yeah. faces. <laughs> smiling faces will lie. Yeah. They don't tell the truth. Because this saying yes. is very apparent. You have to be careful who you're dealing with. Not everybody you call a friend is your friend. Amen. Amen. Not everybody that you call a Christian is a Christian. Right. All right. So be yeah. careful yeah. who comes smiling in your face. Right. Be right. careful right. those who's always over generous to you. Right. Right. Be careful. Because we can only trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All right. Because we see right here in the scripture, because of their promotion to be on top. These Chaldeans were trying to find something to bring them down. Right. And that is a lesson for us to learn today. Mm -hmm. And the lesson is when you are being blessed by the Lord, mm -hmm. when you are being anointed to do a great works for the Lord, All right, now. when the Lord is promoting you to higher heights in your life, All right, there now. will be some people who are going to be jealous of you and they are going to do anything possible to try to pull you down. All right now. And not only that, whenever you take a stand against something that is wrong, All right. you will have people who are going to lie on you, yep. talk bad about you, yep. persecute you, and try to tear down your reputation. Amen. Amen. This race is not going to be easy, y'all. And if you are used to giving up in things or giving up on things that you have said you're going to do, right, this race now. is not for you. All right. Because this race that we call life and walking in, in the Christian way requires us to endure. Amen. It requires us to persevere. It requires us to be patient. All right. Which means that you ain't going to win all the fights. Amen. You ain't going to win all the battles. Amen. But the joy in all the fights and all the battles with the things of this world at the end of the day, all right, now. We got a victory in Jesus. Yeah. Amen. Because he is our victory. Yes. Yeah. And let me say, when people come against you, we got to do what, or what, what people try to throw on us. All right. Try to make us accept. We got to stand on God's word. Amen. We got to live by his promises and we got to be obedient to his word. Amen. And that's what we see here with, happening with Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Right. They were being persecuted for taking a stand for not bowing down to King Nebuchadnezzar's golden image. All right. And they were not falling for the okie doke. Also, Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego were being persecuted because they did not follow the crowd. Mm -hmm. Young folks, hear me, please. All right, now. They did not follow the crowd. Right. You see, the crowd was bound down to the golden image when they heard the music being played. Mm -hmm. But Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not. Mm -hmm. You see, just because the majority is doing it, just because the people in your classroom is doing it. All right. Just because the world says it's all right to do it. All right. Does that mean it is all right in the Lord's eye to do it? Amen. God has given us all a conscience to tell us what is right and what is wrong. That's right. And you young people need to listen to what the Spirit is telling you. All right now. If it's leading you on the right side, go right. But if the, Holy, if the Holy Spirit is not leading you to go left, stay away from left. All right, man. Come on, somebody. Right. We got so many problems in our schools because our kids are not being taught the right way how to live, right, the man. right way of thinking, and they're not being taught about the things of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. All right, now. They're taking prayer out of school. 
I'm they've taken now. the Christian organizations out of school, I'm but right they're letting all the other garbage in. All right. Teach your children that Jesus is the way, the yeah. truth, and the life. Right. And the only way to the Father is through him. Amen. Yeah. These yeah. worldly riches are going to burn up in the fire, but when you come to faith in Jesus, All right now. your life will last forever. Yeah. And money can't, no money you cannot place a value on that. That's right, right, right. <laughs> Right. You see, there are some things you just don't simply do because it goes against who you belong to and it does not please God. Mm -hmm. Now, another question I would like to ask you all, how come Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not bow down to the golden image when they heard the music being played? Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Were they trying to be seen? Mm -hmm. Were they trying to be popular? Mm -hmm. What were they trying to do? Now allow me to say, Scripture does not say they did not like the type of music that was being played. Right. Exactly. It was not because the music did not have a nice beat, did not have a nice tune, or it didn't have enough bass in it. Make it plain. Come on, nephew. You gotta have that bass. Make it plain. It was not because they were not musically inclined or musically talented like some other people. Right. It wasn't because they did not know how to dance or did not like to dance. All right. Nor was it because they did not like the band that was playing the music. All right, All right now. You see, it was because the music itself that was being played in this passage of scripture had some bad intentions mm -hmm. in it. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. All right, now. You see, there was nothing wrong with the music in itself that was being played in this passage of scripture. All right. But it was how the music was being used. That is, the music was being used to signal to people when to bow down to the golden image, a false idol. All right now. And it was because of this principle, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not bow down to King Nebuchadnezzar, golden image, when they heard the music being played. Right. Because the music that they heard had some bad intentions in it that was used to signal the people to worship the golden image and not God himself. Amen. And even Amen. today, there's a lot of music that is being played over the radio that has some bad intentions. Got to hear me. All right, now. You young people know there's bad music in what you listen to on the radio. All right. Whenever you hear music and songs that entice you to have sex before marriage. All right. Be involved in an alternative lifestyle. All right. Calling women all kinds of names. All right. Killing someone because they are not wearing the right colors. All right. Being disrespectful to authority figures like your parents and your teachers. All right. Getting high on drugs, selling drugs, right. and dropping out of school. All right. Anytime you hear music or songs that entice you to sin or do contrary to God, All right. there is a piece of music or song that has some bad intentions. Amen. 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 And bad intentions are not only in music, but it is also in the world. Right. Society says that sin should be an, an acceptable choice. Make it plain. And that we have no rights as Christians to offer even a gentle word of correction. Mm. Society encourages us to keep our values and morals to ourselves. Mm. Society says that right may not always be right, and that wrong may not always be wrong. Mm. Even some within the church are working to change worship from God-centered to being man-centered. Right. Some of the church have turned from standing up for Jesus to tolerate and accepting anything that the world offers so we can coexist. Make it plain. But back to the question. How come Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego did not bow down to the golden, Im golden image that Nebuchadnezzar uh, built when they heard the music being played. All right, now. Well, I believe their parents adhere to this. Mm -hmm. Train up a chap yes. right yes. the way they should go. All right. And when they get old, they won't depart from it. Amen. I believe they were taught, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Amen. But here it is. <coughs> Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, right. nor serve them. That's right. 
Yes. No doubt Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego, when they were young, were taught who God is. All right. No doubt they were taught to trust in the Lord with all their hearts, mind, body, and soul. Right. No doubt they were taught to worship God with all their heart. All right. They were taught to obey God with all their heart. Mm -hmm. They were taught all these things and a whole lot more. But they were living in a strange land or world that did not honor God. All right now. And let, let me say, we're living in a strange world or land that we are not belong, that we do not belong to. That's right. We're of this world, but we're not in this world. Make a now. And the question is, how do you honor God in a strange land? How do you honor God on the job that don't want to hear you talk about God? Right. How do you honor God when you go to school that has teachers and administrators that don't honor God and don't want you to honor God? Make it plain. Well, Psalms chapter 119 verse 11 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart, That's right. that I might not sin against thee. Make it yes, you may not be allowed to talk about the Lord on your job at school in the classroom, but you can still honor God wherever you might be by keeping God's word in your heart. Amen. And when you have God's word hidden in your heart, you will honor and worship the Lord God only because the Bible tells us in Leviticus chapter 26 verse 1, Yes shall make you no idols nor graven image, right. neither ye, neither ye upstanding image, neither shall ye set up any image of stone in your land. Right. To bow down unto it. For I am the Lord your God. Amen. You see, whenever a person bows down to a statue, <coughs> to another person such as political leaders, mm -hmm. bar friends, girlfriends, husbands or wives, mm -hmm. children, relatives, neighbors, celebrities, famous athletes, famous rap stars, money, sex, or drugs, but does, do not bow down to the Lord God Almighty, that person has committed the sin of idolatry. All right, you now. see, as far as I'm concerned, only God is worthy of the praise. Amen. Only God is Amen. worthy of all the worship. Amen. And God is only, he's the only one that is worthy of all the honor. Amen. Amen. You see, Michael Jordan didn't save me, nor did he create me. Right. The Dallas Cowboys didn't do nothing for me. My college degree didn't do nothing for me. All right. My mother and father didn't do nothing for me besides having me. My job didn't do nothing for me. All right now. Only Jesus Christ did something for me. All right now. Amen. All right now. See, when I came to faith in him, he changed my whole life. Amen. 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 He turned me around 180 degrees and not 360 because yes. I'm not back where I started. Mm -hmm. I thank God that he's matured me, he's growing me, he's right. cleansing me every day when I get into his word. Amen. And I know Amen. the importance of only worship him and they worship him only. Right. Because ain't nobody else done for me what Jesus did for me. Make it plain. But let me say idolatry is a sin that God hates because when you worship someone or something more than you worship God himself, mm -hmm. not only do you make God angry, mm -hmm. but you're putting your something or someone before God. All right now. And God will not share his glory as God with anybody else. Yeah, amen. amen. That means not only should we not bow down or worship anybody or anything besides the Lord God Almighty, All right. but we shouldn't not worship ourselves as God because it is God who made us. Amen. amen. It is God who created us. Amen. It is God who deserves all of our worship and praise. All right now. For Psalms 100 and verse 3 says, Know ye not, know ye that the Lord, he is God. All right. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. Amen. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Amen. And in Isaiah 42, verse 8, it says that I am the Lord, that is my name. Amen. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to grave an image. Amen. You see, God is not going to share his glory with anything or with anybody else. Because he deserves it all. Yeah. All right, now. Yeah. Yeah. Because God is God all by himself. Say it. There is no other God besides him. Say it. There is a question being asked in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 18. All right, it now. says, to whom then will ye liken God? All right now. Or what likeness will you compare unto him? That's right. Make it plain. Get that Josiah. Mm -hmm. 
You see, in the sport of basketball, you can compare LeBron James with Michael Jordan. In baseball, you can compare Jackie Robinson with Hank Aaron. All right. In football, you can compare Lamar Jackson with Patrick Mahomes. Okay. In rap music, you can compare Kendrick Lamar with J. Cole. Okay. Okay. In R&B, you can compare the Osley Brothers with the OJ. <laughs> In show business, you can compare Denzel Washington with Samuel L. Jackson. Right. In comedy, you can compare Kevin Hart with David Chappelle. Okay. But when it comes to God himself, yeah. All right now. All right now. but when it comes to God himself, All right now. you can't compare anybody with God Amen. because he's the only one who created the universe. He's the only one that can make a cow eat green grass and produce white All right now. All right. yellow cheese and yellow butter. All right. Growing up as kids. Exactly. 
And not that my mother didn't drag us to church, I just didn't listen to church. You know what I'm saying? But y'all need to listen. Through my experience, I want the children need to listen. They need to know. They need to know God loves them. Amen. He wants to keep them. He wants to see them one day with him. Amen. And we need to let them know the world ain't nothing good in the world. Amen. Amen. Nothing good in the world. I'm talking about the Prince of Eden. That's right. Because when everything God created, it was good. That's right. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about the principalities, the right. things that we cannot see. Right. They want our children, y'all. Amen. And we need to keep them, yes. Yes. our children, close to us, yes. That's right. prayed up, yes. and in the yes. Word of God, right. and practicing Amen. the things of God. Amen. 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 Y'all need to know. Amen. Don't do what the world does. That's right. Do what God has called you to do. That's right. Yeah. Not that we're perfect, but we're striving to be perfect. That's right. But Amen. one day we will yes, Lord. be perfect. Amen. Because we shall see his face. That's yes. right. And we can't see his face unless we are in a glorified body. Amen. So my little my little brothers and sisters and daughters or son. Amen. You no, know, can't nobody do you like Jesus. That's right. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Right. Amen. Stay involved with the things. Stay involved with the Christ over everything ministry. All Stay right involved now. in the church. Stay involved. Get to know your brothers and sisters in the church. Amen. Get to know them. Amen. Get to know each other as children of God. Amen. Because you will be attacked. People will come against oh, you. Yeah. But just know this one thing. Mm -hmm. Jesus is with you. Yes, Amen. 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 And as I close, y'all thought I was done, as I, and as I close, it might have looked like God had forgotten all about Meshach, Shamrach, and Abednego. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says that these three men, Shamrach, Meshach, and Abednego, mm -hmm. fell down bound in the midst of the burning fiery furnace. That's right. Mm -hmm. The Nebuchadnezzar, the king, was astonished and rose up in haste mm -hmm. and spake and said unto his counselors, Did not we cast? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three men bound into the midst of fire. All right now. They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. Yes. All right now. And Nebuchadnezzar answered and said, Lo, lo, behold. All right now. I see four men <laughs> yes. Yes. walking in the midst of the fire. And they have no hurt. All right now. And the form of the four, come on, here it is. All right now. And the form of the four. All right now. It's like the Son of God. Yeah. yeah. How would Nebuchadnezzar yeah. know that unless the Holy Spirit could be? All right home? now. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace. All right and now. Expect and see, Shamrach, Meshach, All right and now. Ye servants of the Most High God. That's right. That's right. Come forth and come hither. That's right. The Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. Right. And the princes, the governors, all oh men, you're talking about a testimony, all right. All uh, right a now. witnessing, mm -hmm. and the princes, governors, mm -hmm. captains, and the king's counselors, mm -hmm. being gathered together, saw these men. All right now. Upon whose bodies, check it out, mm -hmm. the fire had no power. That's right. Nor was a hair of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed, right. but the smell of the fire had passed on them. Exactly. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be to the God All right now. of Shemrach, right. Meshach, and Abednego, All right now. who sent his angels yeah, right. and delivered his servants that trusted in him, that's right. and have changed the king's world, and has changed the king's world. Mm -hmm. And yield their bodies that they may not serve no worship any God except their own God. All right now. Even the fire was under the control of God. That's right. God, God told it, don't burn a thing except the robe that had them tied, the robe that had them tied up. Right. Not a thing was singed. That's right. And there was was not even the smell of fire upon them. That's right. My brothers and sisters. They knew who they were as they went into the furnace. Exactly. And you better believe they and everybody else knew who they were when they came out. That's right. They were God's children. That's right. God is looking for some simple, ordinary people Make who are point. brave enough to say, yes. I know who I am in Christ. Amen. And I will not bow down 
for the images, offers, and pleasures of this world. Make it plain. And the only way you can experience the kind of miracle that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego experience is to be willing to give it up all for our right. Savior Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Amen. And to do it when the moment comes. Amen. If you know who you are, That's right. you too will say, if I'm put in this predicament, mm -hmm. God is able to deliver me Mm -hmm. But even if he does not, right. I will make the same decisions over, right. over, right. and over That's again, right. and not fall for the okie doke. Right. They did not forget who they were, mm -hmm. and they said, "Our God is able to rescue us." Mm -hmm. But even if He chooses not to, He will not. We will not be unfaithful to Him. Make it plain. Our faith tells us that God is able to come and rescue us out of all situations mm -hmm. and put the pieces back together that have fallen apart in our lives. Mm -hmm. But our convictions and our faithfulness say, even if God does not work this situation out in this the matter, I would like him to. Right. I'm going to still serve him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. My brothers and sisters, God is always with us. That's right. So don't let the circumstances around you keep you discouraged because we may endure for a night but the joy Amen. comes in the morning. Amen. Amen. You're Amen. a child of God. That's right. Your life may not be all that you want it to be mm -hmm. but God is saying, I don't know about it. I do know about it. Mm -hmm. Come on back home and we'll get this thing straightened out together. Mm -hmm. Amen. You may not, you may have never taken the kind of stand for Jesus Christ that you should have. Mm -hmm. But God has said today, it is not too late to start. Make it plain. Your character can be rebuilt and your name can be restored. Mm -hmm. No matter what the world may call you, no matter what people may call you, mm -hmm. no matter what they say about you. Mm -hmm. I'm preaching to myself right now. Come on, man. <laughs> God calls you the one whom he loves. That's yes. right. God, Jesus calls you the one for whom he died for. Mm -hmm. So don't fall for the don't fall for the things of this world, mm -hmm. but fall in love with Jesus. Amen. The Amen. The doors of the church are open. Amen. And as the praise team comes forward, get everybody to stay. The doors are open. And just know whatever you may struggle with today, you may come forth and ask for prayer. If you are not part of a membership of a, uh, any church and would like to be a member here at New Life Missionary Baptist Church, please come. Just know whatever your needs are or whatever you need in Christ, he's here. Because it says, well, two or three are gathered in my name. Yeah. Yeah. I'm there in the midst. Right. So whatever you need is here with Christ. Right. Yeah. Doors of the church are open.
calling on. Yes. yes. Amen. And my young brothers yes. and sisters, Christ over everything ministry, just know God is. Amen. You're all, all in. in. All in. Yes. Submit to Him. Yes. And allow the Holy Spirit to yes. direct and guide you right. as you go forth in this race. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Put your hands together again one more time.